Okay, we are joined on the dais from McNeese, head coach Will Wade, along with senior guard Shahade Wells, and junior forward Christian Shumate. And we will open it with a quick statement from Coach Wade. Yeah, just, I mean, give Gonzaga a lot of credit. They played really, really well. Uh, their length had a lot to do with us. We missed a lot of layups at the rim. And uh, they did a good job baiting our post trap and skipping it out for open threes early. And, you know, it's deflating. We were missing layups, and they were hitting open threes. And that's, uh, you know, it's deflating for a team. But they, they were... You know, you could tell they were a team that's been here before. They're a team that's been in these moments, and we're still a program that's that's building and 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 trying to trying to play well in these moments. But you know, I'm not going to let one bad night ruin a lot, a lot of really, really good nights. I told our guys that after the game. I mean, 30 and four is incredible. I'm trying. You know, we, we're going to keep perspective on this, and, and we ran into a buzzsaw. They're they're a tremendous program, tremendous team, and. You know, we see where we where we need to try to um, where we need to try to get to now. But uh, uh, give them credit, and and um, you know, I'm proud of all of our guys. Uh, been an unbelievable season, and just sorry we couldn't keep it going a little bit while longer. Thank you, Coach. And now we'll open up for questions for our student athletes. <coughs> right here, please. Matthew Travis, KPLC, for both of you guys. But starting with you, Hade. Just talk about what this season was like and looking back, what you'll remember, because it, obviously it won't be tonight, but just looking back on the season, what kind of sticks out? Uh, this season means a lot to me. Um, just being along with these guys, man, this this team is something special. Uh, when Coach Wade brought us, he told us it was going to be something special. And just looking back at it, like he said, we can't take away what we did. Um, things didn't go our way tonight, but we did incredible things for not for ourselves, but the city of Lake Charles and McNeese and the Southland Conference. So it's a good thing. Um, <clears throat> yeah, kind of, uh, kind of really the same thing. Um, you know, you can't really take away from what we did. Like I was a part of the last year's team and the year before that. So um, what we did as far as turning the program around and giving people something to be excited for and, you know, everything that we did, you know, um, winning 30 games, like it was a lot of compliments that we, compliments that we had this year, and um, you can't really take away from that. And that's what we'll look back for, look back to, and you know, just being around this team, and we didn't kind of became a family, being around our brothers every day, and going through tough times, and just embracing each other, you know, embracing the community. Um, it's been it's been a ride, and we're just proud to be here. Um, Shahadi. Coach talked about that it was deflating to see them get off to such a quick start. How was it for you guys and how hard was it to keep up with them once they started hitting shots? Um, I would say they were ready for what we had. Um, our post traps, like he said, the, the open threes, um, it was hard for us to come back with us missing layups and shooting threes that we couldn't make, well, that we didn't make. So um, I feel like we dug ourselves in a hole at the beginning. Uh, we tried to dig ourselves out, but um, we all seen the outcome, but proud of this team, and we've come so far. But it's sad to say it comes to an end today. But I'm proud of us. Okay, right here. <clears throat> Christian, just talk about the impact Shahade has had on this team and what he's meant to you personally as well. Um, I mean, personally, he's just—he's been a brother to me since we got here. You know. Um, like I said, we all embraced each other, but me and him, we kind of became brothers, you know, and we had to do some things together, figure out some things together to <clears throat> to kind of bring the team along. And we had a lot of long talks, and, and, you know, we just had to figure things out. And once we figured things out between me and him and how we were going to lead, we, uh, we uh, relate that on to the team and, you know, got him along with us and, but I mean, he's just been so such a big part of the team, you know. Uh, scoring, defending, his his vocalness, you know, he's a huge part of the team, and you know, he was everything to us. Christabel, the Pope Press, you said in Wednesday's press conference that you wanted to make the community proud of you. And the fans I talked to, and everybody in the stands was proud all night long. What do you have to say to them after after the game? Well, I just want to say thank you. You know, um, <clears throat> I love our fans. I love the community. Um, 
I wish we could keep on going, but uh, still, I just want to thank them. Uh, everything they've done for us up until this point is just one big family in the town, and we all love each other. We love y'all. They love us. Um, it's, I mean, it's an amazing feeling knowing that you got that many people backing you, you know. We had like a real McNeese section out there, and um, it's just an unbelievable feeling, and there's no amount of words that I could say to show the appreciation that I have, and I know that the team has for everyone, and um, so yeah, thank you, and we love you guys. Shahade, would you like to answer that as well? Uh, we'll just say thank you to everybody that supported us this year, man. Um, it's been a long journey. It's been a special journey. Uh, we changed the culture there. We changed a lot of things there, and if it wasn't for the people of Lake Charles, we wouldn't be in this position that we're in. So we just want to say thank you with all our hearts and go Pokes. Right here. Shahade, just talk about the impact Coach Wade has had on your career, obviously using your last eligibility with him. Uh, he's bad, had a big impact on my, on my career, not just my career, my life. Um, we talk things outside of basketball, but <clears throat> basketball standpoint, he just taught me a lot. He, um, just the different reads, he shows me everything. Uh, he shows me he's a winning coach, um, things in that matter, and he just taught me a lot. Okay, we'll check the Zoom really quick. Your, any participants on the Zoom would like to ask any questions of our student athletes, please use the raise hand button now. We'll get you on. Okay, any other questions for our student athletes here in the room? Okay, we will excuse our student athletes. Thank you, gentlemen. And congratulations on your season. And now we'll open to questions for Coach Wade. Right here. Coach, you're clearly getting a little emotional. This team has meant a lot to you. Just talk about this season overall and kind of what Christian and Shahade have meant to you as well. Yeah, I mean, I cried in the locker room afterwards. I'm not the most emotional guy, but I mean, all of them, man. So, I mean, they, they chose us when we didn't have a whole lot going for us. And so they turned around a basketball program, they've turned around a school, they've turned around a community. And so yeah, I'm just sorry we're not going to be able to keep it going, but uh, they've been just incredible, all of them. All of them have been uh, just phenomenal and very, very appreciative of everybody. Follow up. Go ahead. Um, yeah, obviously you had to double down because of their size difference. Um, what did you think when they hit the six out of seven to start it? What could you – was there anything you could do at that point? I mean, look, I mean, if you're going to pull an upset, we got to make a bunch of threes and you got to hope they miss a bunch of threes. And the exact opposite happened. We missed a bunch of threes, they made a bunch of threes. <laughs> so, I mean, you know, look, I mean, it's pick your poison. Um, I was worried if we didn't double the post – we were going to get in foul trouble all night, and we just didn't have enough big bodies. I mean, they're three mans bigger than our center. So we just had limited options, and, you know, we were going to try to let them bomb us away from three, and credit to them. They did a, they did a, they did a phenomenal, phenomenal job. That said, what was kind of the message at halftime to rally them, rally them up? I mean, we just talked about, look, we've been in the situation at Corpus. You know, we've been in the situation at Southeastern. Obviously, we weren't playing Corpus or Southeastern. Uh, but, uh, um, you know, we, we just tried to chip away at it a little bit. And then, you know, we got off, you know, first couple plays of the first half or second half. We missed the layup at the rim. We missed another layup in transition, just backbreakers where we could have tried to chop it down a little bit and we could never get uh never get our feet underneath us to, to chop it down and and look their length and athleticism had a lot to do with with, with, with us missing and you know we've got to we got to go back and and get to work we see what it is now and we're going to land tomorrow afternoon in lake charles and tomorrow afternoon when we land at lake charles like the staff and i are going to be working we're going to try to keep as many of these guys as we can keep and want to stay and we're going to add some we got to look a little different you know, if we want to get to this stage again, we got to look different. And I, I kind of knew that coming in, but we got to, we got to, we got to go get some, we got to go get some, we got to go get some dudes. 
And uh, that portal's open, and we're going to be ready to roll. Yeah, the question oh, right here. Um, yeah, you said that. Um, one of the things you did, do you think you were ahead of schedule this year going 30 and 4? Or because um, this was unexpected for the most part to see it this far. Yeah, I mean, look, I think today our lack of experience in the tournament showed. I was extremely pleased with how we played in the conference tournament. I was worried going into the conference tournament about how we would play on that stage with guys who haven't been in th those big of games outside of high day, really. Um, and so I was thrilled with how we played. Now, having the thing at home probably helped quite a bit with how we played. Um, but when you come to these environments, it's, it's, it's different. It's different. And we did not, you know, Gonzaga looked like a team that's been to the second weekend eight straight times in 25 straight tournaments. And we looked like a team that hadn't come, that's coming for the first time in 22 years. I mean, that's just what it, that's just what it looked like. And you can try to explain it and try to do all that all you want. It's just until you experience it. And that's the, that's the part for us. I mean, you know, it's hard as hell to get here when you're from a one bid league. So we've got to get back to work. And the first step is to, you know, go acquire some talent that's going to help us get back here because we do have to replace Hade and, and some other very good players. So we got to go, you know, acquire some talent. Talent's the price of admission to get to this thing. And then, and then we've got to, you know, we got to, we got to, we got to, you know, bow up and, and get better. I mean, you're, you know, the, the, they exploited some of the stuff that, you know, quite frankly, in some of the games in our league, we can be sloppy on some of the switches. We can be sloppy on some things, and it, it still works because we got better athletes than, than, than some of them. But when you get to this stage, you've got to be really, really tight, and, and, um, and we weren't tonight. But a lot of that's a credit to Gonzaga. Okay, right here. <clears throat> Coach, for you personally, what was it like being back on the stage? Obviously, you weren't able to two years ago. So just what was this experience like? It's great just because it was with our guys. Um, it was awesome to see how excited they were, to see how fired up uh, fired up they were for it. But, um, you know, it's fun. Anytime you can go to the tournament, man, it's a, it's a good year. And um, I wish we'd have played a little bit better today. But this doesn't – I mean, we're 30 and freaking four, man. I mean, I mean, we'd all signed up for that. So, I mean, I'm not going to let any of this take away from just the incredible year we had, the incredible time we had with the guys. I've never had more fun with a team in my life. Um, they're a blast. And, um, you know, just wasn't our night tonight. We got to get back and make sure we get back here and try to make it our, our night this time next year. Okay. Time for two more questions. We'll start right here. Coach, I, I, I know that you're a perfectionist and, uh, and that, uh, like I said, you're already thinking about getting off the plane tomorrow and going and getting recruiting. But tonight, before you go to bed, are you going to tell yourself you did a good job? <laughs> I don't know about that, but uh, look, we, we, we got here, and that's, that was step one. And, um, you know, now we've got to prepare for step two and, and move forward to next year. And, um, you know, we still – look, i got to help Hade, and he got in Portsmouth, so we got to help him move forward with the NBA. we got some stuff out there with Felder and Cullum on their years of eligibility and whether they can come back or not. we got to get that solved. Like, there's just a lot of – there's a – my mind – got a laundry list of things i got to go through, and – and we're going we're gonna to get it right. And, um, you know, we're going to put our team and our program in the best, best position to get back here and have a chance to win. You're right back in the corner. Coach, Chris Comrani with The Athletic. Things move fast in this world. How do you anticipate approaching conversations or opportunities should other schools show interest in you in the coming weeks? Plan on being back at McNeese next year. How's that? Short, sweet, to the point. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. Congratulations Thank on you your season. Guys. Yeah, I'm going to give them all to you if you'd like. <laughs>